So till now we have seen what is a DFA. We have seen what is a NFA. Now let us look at what is a epsilon NFA, or you can say it is epsilon NFA. So epsilon NFA is an NFA which uh, takes a move even by seeing an epsilon symbol. And when I'm saying epsilon symbol, that means it is a symbol which is not having any or or you can say which is not having any length. Or you can say a symbol of length zero. Okay, or you can say it is an L string. Okay, so this kind of epsilon NFA can make a transition even by seeing no strings whatsoever, right? So uh, why do we actually need an epsilon NFA? In some cases, uh, you know, it is uh, sometimes become very difficult to draw DFAs because uh, DFAs uh, require more practice uh, for complicated uh, types of languages. Okay, so in, for those particular languages, it is very easy to draw NFAs and it is more very easy to draw epsilon NFA. We can draw an epsilon NFA and then we can convert that epsilon NFA to NFA and then we can convert that NFA to DFA. That becomes very, very easy, uh, very easy process. So now let us look at why do we actually need an epsilon NFA. So as construction of DFA is very difficult for certain input sets, we construct NFA that we already know because in the previous videos we have already seen what is an NFA and I, I told you that NFA is so easy as compared to a DFA because you don't have to give every uh, transition or every input. You don't have to give every transition. Right. So you can miss some transitions. You only have to specify what is the required details or what is the main required purpose of that NFA. Now, epsilon is an empty string. We all know what is an empty string. And the epsilon transition are used to simply cha change one state to the other state. For example, you know that if after reaching a some particular state, you want to go to a particular state after seeing that particular input. So from to reach from this state to that state, if there is no input present, then you can make an epsilon transition. Epsilon transition means you can make a transition without seeing any particular symbol after that. Okay, now sometimes to reach a final state, we do not get proper state from the start state. In such case, we simply want to reach to a certain state which leads to a final state. Now such a transition to that specific state should be without any kind of input symbols. And hence, we require some epsilon move by which a proper state can be obtained for reaching to final state. Thus, the epsilon move play an important role in case of NFAs. And this is a very simple example of epsilon NFA. Can you identify the language here? What language is accepted? So this uh, this uh, NFA is going to accept every string over a comma b, over a comma b. Even it it is an epsilon string. So if you have any combination of a's, then by after seeing any combination of a's, you can see any number of uh, without seeing anything we can go to B and without seeing anything we can go to C. C. Uh, it is actually C. Initially you should get A's only. Initially you should get only A's. After getting the A's or you can say without even getting the A's you can get B's. Right and after getting any number of B's or without getting any B you can go to C. So this is actually representing the following language. Here the language is a raised to power n, b raised to power m, c raised to power k such that n comma m comma k is greater than or equal to 0. That means the length of a can be 0, the length of b can be 0 as well as the length of c can also be 0. So this epsilon NFA is actually representing this particular language. Okay. So uh, there's something called as epsilon closure. So what actually is epsilon closure is just by seeing an epsilon symbol to how many states you can make a transition that is called as epsilon closure. For example, if you are at initial state Q0, that means without seeing any symbol, without seeing any symbol or you can say string of length 0 to what states you can reach. You can reach to state Q0 itself. Because there is an epsilon transition, therefore you can reach to a state Q1. Because there is an epsilon transition from Q1, therefore you can reach to a state Q0, Q2. That means if you are at state Q0, so epsilon, uh, epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0, Q1 and Q2. So let us uh, check it formally. Epsilon closure of a state P 
is a set of all states which are reachable from that particular state P on epsilon transition such that epsilon closure of P is equal to P where P belongs to the set of Q's and if there exists epsilon closure of P which is equal to Q and epsilon closure of Q is equal to R then we can say from P we can reach to Q comma R or to say you can say from Q just by seeing epsilon symbol you can reach to a state which is R. For example, let us see for this particular diagram, if I say what is the epsilon closure of the state Q0. If you are at state Q0, then just by seeing an epsilon symbol, you can go to Q0. Then from Q0, there is a transition to Q1 by seeing an epsilon. That is, there is a transition to other state by seeing an epsilon. Therefore, you can go to Q1. and from Q1 there is a transition on epsilon that is for Q2. So epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0, Q1 and Q2. Now if I take the epsilon closure, epsilon closure of Q1. So epsilon closure of Q1 is that, that state itself and the state to which we can read by seeing an epsilon symbol. So epsilon closure of Q1 is actually Q1, comma, Q2. And what is the epsilon closure? And what is the epsilon closure of Q2? Epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself. Epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself. So these are the epsilon closure of these particular states. So now you know what is an epsilon NFA. I have shown you a very simple uh, a diagram of an epsilon NFA. In the coming videos, we are going to see how can you convert an epsilon NFA to an NFA. And then you already know how to convert an NFA to a DFA. And in some cases, I already told you that if you are con converting an NFA to a DFA, then it does not guarantee that DFA is a minimized DFA. We may get a DFA which is not at all minimized. So we can minimize that DFA to make a minimal DFA for any particular language that we will see in the later videos on, on future videos. Okay, so for now, you know what is an epsilon NFA. Now let us move on to the next section for uh, epsilon NFA and how to convert that epsilon NFA to a NFA.